All right, folks, today we are making this amazing looking chicken parmesan one pot. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Let's get this recipe started with the chopping work. You will need garlic. And of course, as always, if you want to recreate this dish at home, you could check out the video description. We have a whole list of ingredients and measurements in there. Next one, onion. Take a large onion, cut into half and cut into dices. After chopping up the onion, you will need a green bell pepper. And same here, cut into dices doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a simple one pot. Nobody cares about the exact shape of the pieces of onions and bell pepper later on. Then you will need Parmesan cheese. Of course it's possible to buy this already ground. I prefer doing the work at home with my microplane. So take a good piece of Parmesan cheese and just grind it by yourself. The final step before we hit the grill is the preparation of chicken. I'm using chicken breast today, but of course you can use chicken thighs or whatever you like. These are gonna be seasoned with SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, which is one of the mixtures from my friend Jörn Udenheim Barbecue, Barbecue aus Rheinhessen. If you haven't heard about him, check it out. Now season exactly four pieces of chicken breasts. Sprinkle over the rub and season. In the meantime, I have already prepared a starting chimney full of charcoal. And after the seasoning that can be done short before grilling, doesn't have to be in the fridge for six hours or so, we're gonna heat up the grill. You will need one spot for direct heat and a spot for indirect heat, like always. Heat up the grates clean them and then start grilling the chicken breasts approximately three to four minutes per side. Now the chicken gets a real nice grill flavor, which is important for the one pot dish later on. This really makes a difference. After three or four minutes on the other side, place your chicken breasts on indirect heat. This is what we are doing here all the time. It will keep your chicken juicy. Then close the lid and let that sit on indirect heat for another 20 minutes. The chicken doesn't have to be cooked at that time. So take it off, cool down a little bit and start with a cast iron pot inside the charcoals. We're gonna put in some basil flavored olive oil followed by onions and garlic. After three or four minutes, add the green bell peppers. After some more minutes, add tomato paste. And then your veggies should get tomatoized. If that really is a word in English language. This is where the magic happens. Let that sit there and roast for three or four minutes and then add red wine. Let that red wine reduce until there's nothing really left and then add chicken stock. Some more chicken stock and tomato. Two big bottles of canned tomatoes. Tomato sauce. Whatever you call it. Then we're gonna bring this one to a boil. In the meantime, it's enough time to slice the chicken. Of course the chicken is not 100% done at that moment, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna put this back into the hot cast iron pan and the boiling tomato sauce. And this is exactly what we need for bringing the meat to the right color and the right tenderness. This might now get really quick. Reduce the heat a little bit. Just take away some charcoal, that's easy. Put in your chicken slices and give it a mix. Now it's time for the first seasoning. You will need some 
salt seasoning. I'm using my Italian salt seasoning and dried oregano. Only one more ingredient. You know which one is missing still. Of course, the Parmesan cheese. Save a little bit for later on as garnish on the plates, but the rest could be in there completely. This will give an intense flavor to your tomato chicken soup. And it makes the sauce and the one pot really creamy. The consistency is pretty cool. Now take it off. If you want, add some green chopped up herbs. I'm using parsley today, but of course parsley is always an option and uh, fresh basil, of course. And I guess we're ready to plate this one up. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about chicken parmesan one pot. I love dishes like that. I'm really into good tomato soups. So for me, this one is close to perfection. Sprinkle over some parmesan cheese and some fresh basil. I'm gonna leave you with some close-ups. And of course, as always, I'm gonna give this a shot right now. Can't hear your thoughts? Leave me a comment. And most important thing is subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Delicious stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.